Welcome back. Your game night continues. Craig Can along with Dr. Greg Steinberg from Austin P. State University in Nashville. A professor, you got to deal with all these uh, these students. I was going to call them kids. That's really not that's fair. Right. That would be insulting to them, wouldn't it? <laughs> they just want to know what grade they're going to get on the test. That's for sure. <laughs> how many how many actual players in your class? A lot? Uh, we usually have a couple of golfers, and the other ones think they're players. And they come up to you, ask any tips on? They maybe? usually say, how do I become a better putter? And I tell them, we'll just hit it closer to the hole. That's tremendous. You absolutely are the Segway King. You get me right over there. You can host this thing. No problem. Craig Can back on your game night with Dr. Greg Steinberg from Austin P. State University in Nashville. You spent some time studying golf, players, and all those philosophies. And by the way, I hope you enjoyed Annika Sorenstam. That was a lot of fun out there in Tulsa. A special talent, 59 for her. This is right up your alley. How does somebody accomplish this? It had never been done in women's golf. Well, I relate to the ceiling of confidence. Most of us, let's say we're an 85 shooter, okay? okay? We feel comfortable shooting between 78 and 88. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, let's say we're playing, and one day we're on the 14th hole, and we're two under. Now we're in the stratosphere. Now we're, oh, we're so, we, we feel so uncomfortable. We feel nervous, and all of a sudden our muscles get tight, and we have a couple blow-up holes, and now we're back into that feeling of comfortable that we're, we're okay here. We're mad, though, that we ended up there. We're, we're mad, but we're okay in, the, in this comfort zone. What's amazing about Annika is her ceiling of confidence is way up here. Mm -hmm. She was trained to believe in the 54 vision. She was trained to believe every hole is birdieable. Mm -hmm. And so when she's eight or nine under, she's comfortable. There is no stratosphere for her because she's always in the stratosphere. And that's why I think she's the only woman to shoot 59 on the, PG, on the LPGA Tour. Well, as we look at her shooting 59 and all that she went through to do it out there in Arizona a few years back, um, tell us what we can learn from watching someone accomplish this or watching a player like Annika Sorenstam. I think when you're shooting a great score, the secret is, is not to think about your score. You've got to play every shot at a time. And, you know, it's an old cliche, but if you really think about it, would you play a hole different if you're three over or three under? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You'd keep the same philosophy and the same strategy. So the secret is, is not to worry about your score. Because mm -hmm. once we think about our score, we get nervous. We, we start thinking, oh, we're playing bad or we're playing good. And our emotions get out of check. And once our emotions get out of check, that's when our performance gets out of check. What about Davis Love the third? It had been 60 plus events since he had last won a PGA Tour event. Uh, talk about being out of your comfort zone. Now he's back as a victor again on the PGA Tour. What must it have been like for a player of his ability to go without a victory for so long? Well, I, I think it's frustrating, of course, for him. I think what he has to do or what he's done in the past is kind of recall those previous great events or tournaments where he played well. And now when he's in that tournament run on Sunday and he's in the lead, he needs to recall those times where he was in the lead, making the putts, winning the tournaments. Mm -hmm. And I think when he's out of his comfort zone, what we just talked about, is when he's thinking about, oh, I haven't won a tournament in four or five years, mm -hmm. and now he gets nervous. Final thing. Let's say I haven't played a good round in three months. Kind of the take Davis love, put me in his shoes. How do I get back to playing good golf? Well, it's all about recalling good feelings. Mm -hmm. And what I recommend a lot of players is write a, I call it a victory log. Write in when you have a great round, write down what you were thinking and what you're feeling, the time of day, the golf course, and put that in your golf bag. Mm. And then what you do is you take that out before a tournament round or before a round, a competitive round, and it brings up those good feelings, those good thoughts, and puts you in the right mental state. A lot of people say when you find something on the range, write it down. You find something on the exactly. golf course, write it down. Thank you very much. Speaking of the range, Annika on the range right now. Enjoy the program. We will be back.